I cannot emphasize more strongly just how important it is that Hawaii really improve its biosecurity. You know, this is not a rancher's problem. This is a statewide problem. This is the state's problem. It is a pest that will affect a lot of different communities on the island. All of a sudden, my eyes opened to the extent of what was going on. I'm out there every single day for the last six years, and I still don't know how to get rid of this thing. It's very unlikely, I think I could even say safely, probably impossible, that we're gonna get rid of this bug. Because there's no stopping the bug. My heart really sank, and I realized that this is going to change our lives forever. The destruction is so great in a, such a small amount of time, and it's just going to get worse. I realize the extent of our infestation. We have been totally infested. It's like a huge fire, and, and I only have a garden hose. Everyone thinks they can battle it, but when it comes to you, there's no way you can battle it. Right now, we're nowhere near stopping this thing. It's very frustrating. It could really decimate the ranching industry. Right now, it's catastrophic. It would affect a lot of people. God forbid it gets to one of the other islands. It's not if, it's when it gets here. It could be just economically catastrophic for the cattle industry. I just, I fear for that. This is gonna be the worst thing that ever happens to ranching in South Kona. If this deal really hits this side of the island, we, we gonna need all the help we can get. My life as a rancher is gonna change forever. From this insect, we've had other influences to agriculture and ranching, but I think this two-line spittlebug might top them all. As long as we're aware of it, then I think that's the biggest thing. If we don't improve our biosecurity, the future of agriculture in Hawaii gets bleaker and bleaker every day.